I keep moving the wrong direction to get in the center. You know, I'm trying to move opposite. Oh, that's, that's right. You have to move your left brain. Yeah. Ugh, God. Okay, here we go. Wait, why are you moving the opposite way? That's what I'm trying to tell you, dude. Because the, because the camera, that thing is flipped toward us. That's why. <laughs> if this thing flipped toward us, it reverses. Oh, I see. Right? Yeah. Here, turn this up so you can see that. Are we recording? Yeah. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. What up, thrillers? What up, thrillers? <laughs> Three, two, one. What up, Thrillers? What up, Thrillers? Welcome to Thrill Studio. Once again, I'm your host, Jonathan Dice. Nate Villarreal. We are Thrill Studio. Welcome. This week, we're going to be taking a look at the Hate the Mother Prophecy um, uh, box expansion for Hate the Game. Uh, we're doing this one special. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> we're... We have a lot to learn. We have much to learn. <laughs> it's all right. We can bleep and then cu uh, cut yes. in. Yeah. All right, here you go. Three, two, one. So we're ha making a special episode today because the models in this box are simply absurd. Bitchin'. They are absolutely absurd. Yeah. It's... We've looked into getting into this game to actually paint it. Um... But we invested pretty heavily in Blood Rage, and since it's of a similar thematic nature, we decided not to go the whole nine on all the models, especially from the core box. Which yeah, is, we didn't want like three million barbarians. No, no but <clears throat> the models are just, <laughs> they're stunning. They're absolutely stunning. So let's crack this bad boy open. Once again, this is the Mother Prophecy expansion from the Hate board game. All right. <laughs> so this is actually a Simon game, and I mean, let's just face it, Simon is known for making incredible models. One of the first um, models that we actually did for Thrill Studio <laughs> was Rising Sun, uh, which we did the Monsters for Rising Sun, that's actually how Nate and I started. And um, it, those models were absolutely absurd. I mean, they, they were so absurd they inspired us to actually start this. So um, Simon. With Blood Rage, it's the same level. Blood Rage is Simon, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Same, same level of really spectacular, really spectacular level of detail on the models. And um, this box is, it has got that same Simon level quality. So um, I don't think we need to go through this. The box actually comes with the AI commands for the uh, individual monsters on cards. You've got your um, your playing cards here, actually your um, AI card, and then a little bit of an instruction manual, uh, which all has to do with the game. But we're here really to talk about the models. Are we going to start with that one? We'll start with the, that one? Yes. All right. So first, let's start with Flea, the Scourge. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this thing... Too close. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so right there. This thing... You know what we need is like a little standy thing right there that yeah. you can just set it on. Dude. That we can just turn. That or just get a lazy Susan or whatever those things are called. That would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. Wait, I have an idea. Hold on. What? Cut. Cut. So let's take a look at Flay of the Scourge. Uh, this, <laughs> model, this model is, is a female mounted warrior. She has a kind of Celtic look, I yeah. would say. A super um, barbarian. Yeah, very barbarian. Um, she is riding a horse that is barded with both an, an armor metallic mm -hmm. sort of shielding and bar leather barding, it looks like. Really heavy For leather sure barding. Leather, yeah. Also, like, <laughs> oh my god. He's got, like, barding She's, like, like naked. screwed into his neck. <laughs> and he's got, like, barding that runs through his mane. It, it, I mean, the detail on this model is. Yeah, insane. It's insane. She's nude, partially nude. Yeah. 
Uh, the fur. She's wearing Ugg boots. She's Ugg boots. <laughs> She's holding Check a whole bag out. of skulls. I mean, <laughs> these models are just stunning. Yeah, these are sick. To get a sense of scale, I'm gonna hold a, uh, you know, there's a 28 millimeter model right there next to her. So you can kind of see how large she is. She's certainly a goddess type character. Um, for, mm -hmm. you know, if you're, if you're playing her in a 28 millimeter <laughs> environment, she's a giant. Uh, she's a mounted giant, sure. essentially. I mean, there's a lot of things you could do with her as a giant, mounted giant, a goddess. Mm -hmm. But the model itself is just... Yeah, just beautiful. Yeah, we, we played with it a little bit, played with an airbrush a little bit, see how much we could accomplish by just sitting down and doing a block, a basic block in of the paint. And it, it's... It's stunning. It's stunning even with just the basic blocking because the detail on this model is so incredible. I mean, Simon's just outdoing themselves, mm -hmm. just constantly outdoing themselves. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. So that, that's Flay of the Scourge. Next. Oh, what do you want to do? No, don't do the awesomest one. Next. <laughs> give us the, give us the. The mother. Yeah, give us the mother. So uh, this next model is Gaia, uh, also called the mother. I, again, <laughs> Beautiful model. It's not as crazily detailed as Flea the Scourge is, but essentially it's a dryadic kind of a character uh, or a nymph. And she's she's almost forming, her body is actually forming out of vines that are growing back into the ground. So it has this kind of in transformation sort of effect to it, uh, which is really stunning. We need that Lady C. Susan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. That sure works. works. <laughs> So I mean, you can you can see the detail on her on the side of her head, with the uh, vines, <laughs> with the vines. I mean, it's so it's it's crazy. The nest of detail in there. I mean, it's just <laughs> yeah. You paint yeah, that like a, awesome. how would you paint that? Oh, I I paint it like a tree end or something. Yeah, like yeah. A, or a wood nymph, right? Yeah, oh, totally. Like yeah, like a fairy like creature. Yeah, with little highlights of like green or something for like the fet, the, the, the stuff. I mean, it's a really nice model. So she'd make a great dryad or wood nymph mm -hmm. or, 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 or a, an elemental of some kind, I think. A, kind of a natural elemental, a goddess. There's lots of different things you could play this character as. You could, it's really nice, actually. Yeah. And then here's a comparison. There's your 28 mil model. So you see she's very large. She's fully more than double the height of a 28 millimeter model so she's a very large creature but i think she'd be great for any rpg game especially especially given the way she appears to be coming out of this sort of natural mm -hmm. um yeah natural environment. just like forming out of this rock or yeah. something the rock and the well no it's, it's just tree it's just a tree and it looks like she's like growing roots into the ground or yeah something. no it's, it's a really beautiful model guys. it's a beautiful model yeah it's a good one. All right, so let's pull her out of there and let's go for the next one, Mr. It's like Moon Champion or something like that. Moon Champion? Yeah, I think that's what he was called. Yeah, let's see here really quick. So, let's give him He is the, yeah, the Moon Champion. <coughs> he he kind of, he, he looks a little bit like Krampus, to be perfectly yeah, honest. Yeah, that was my first thought, was that he looked like Krampus. Uh, he's a very a demonic Krampus looking um, mm -hmm. character. He's also somewhat forming, or coming out of a kind of a, like a growing weed of some kind. You see that on the bottom there? Yeah, I see that. Kind of coming out of his... Is that shadows, maybe? It's like, it's like he's leaving... Oh, is it like... It, is it almost like he's coming out of a dream or something? He appears to be sort know. of jumping out of a mist. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, like a seer coming like out of a mist. Yeah. It, it's really... It's very elegant. It's beautiful. There's this misty kind of stuff. He's, he's lifting his hands out. He's hooved. So he has a kind of... Um, almost a Baphomet-like... Uh, character to him yeah baphomet or like a fawn almost yeah 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 like a giant fawn yeah but the detail on the skin is really nice the model is pretty pretty clean there is one kind of spunky joint on this on the shoulder oh, right. on the left hand shoulder um the other two models that we showed you guys are just absolutely perfect in terms of their the mold lines pretty bad. and their fit um his shoulders aren't great for sure but the model itself is wonderful. The sword, the sickle-like sword with a little moon crest on the base. That's nice. He has kind of a fur uh, mane that runs down his back, down his spinal column, symmetrically. 
any kind of like large natural creature, mm -hmm. uh, fawn, uh, dryad. Yeah, like forest spirit, <clears throat> yes. guardian of some sort. Yes. Kind of a forest daemon. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's lots of different ways you can go with that. Right, right. There is actually, um, on the box art itself, on the cover, there is actually art for him. But it's quite dark. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty ambiguous. I can't yeah. really tell what it is. It doesn't really tell you. It's very grayscale. I don't know if that's what they're meaning to sort of indicate or if it's just a part of the way that the art's being treated because the hate brand is such a just a singular brightly red-orange brand. Yeah. But um, it clearly is meant to be a dark, a painted as a dark creature. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you could use that for lots of different things. And right. once again, just to give a quick comparison, if you can slide the box out of the way there for a second. Um, there's your 28 mil elf. And there's your Krampus. So he's a good, he's a good two el two and a half elves tall. So he's quite <laughs> a large creature. Be sick, sick on the battlefield. Yeah. Okay, and finally, we want to jump to the twins. Now we're just gonna straight up tell you the twins is sickness, <laughs> sickness. <laughs> oh God. Oh, it's good. <laughs> uh, this model is large, extremely large. It's me it's built on a concept that <laughs> as you break it, <laughs> as I snap it off, I dent your table. Snap it off the table. <laughs> you almost could dent the table with this monstrosity. Okay, it's a good four inches tall. It, it's it, it fills a four inch by four inch grid basically yeah. because of its height and length. I mean, it is absolutely scadnormous. There's a 28 mil model right there. <laughs> okay. So this is a god or a daemon character or something. Mm -hmm. um, or like, like an ogre king or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, the model itself is essentially something that looks ogre-like. Mm -hmm. um, but he's actually got a conjoined twin that is, appears to be... The face is sort of up by the left uh, shoulder blade. Uh, the left sort of collarbone, actually, is maybe mm -hmm. a better way to put it. And then he has two arms that kind of go down the front that are sort of ataxic. They're, they're horribly formed. Um, and then he's got the main head, which is very, very orc-like. And he is riding on an enormous bi bison? A horned bison? Yeah, like an oxen or something. It's like an ox, but it has four horns. If we take a look at the scale really quick, we can see that... He's about 20 feet long, mm -hmm. um, and, and he's probably about 15 feet high. Yeah, he's huge. In terms of standard um, 20 millimeter um, RPG <coughs> scale. The, <laughs> the ox is beautiful. The ox or whatever this creature is is beautiful. Yeah, it is. The armor, the armor, it's a combination of a plate mail of some kind, a chain mail mm -hmm. underneath. Oh, it's all rigged together with Chains. Chains. I, uh, I mean, rope right here. Uh, yeah. Skulls hanging off by just like yeah. There's threads. skulls on ropes. Here, let me, let me show the camera. Ah, uh, it's just look at this stuff, dudes. The detail is outstanding. I mean, it's just it's incredible model. Chains, chain mail, plate mail, spiked plate mail. Look at that fur sticking out of that plate mail. Yeah, no, it's insane. It's totally insane. It's it's yeah. it's a giant. It's an incredible Joyce. giant, like a mounted Face. giant for D and D for twenty eight mil D and D for that to be the boss in a mounted giant group would be absolutely insane. Yeah, absolutely yeah, insane. totally insane. I got a whole series in uh, the group that I run where they live near a community of giants. They haven't found mm -hmm. out about it yet. They're going to. Um, so I've been keen on painting up giants recently, and I mean, this would just be an absolutely stunning, <laughs> be stunning boss uh -huh. for a boss battle for, uh, for something to contain <laughs> giants. I mean, wow. <coughs> so, anyway, that's the Hate uh, Mother Prophecy expansion. Um, we 100% can recommend this. Let's talk a little bit about the cost. We were able to pick up boxes of these on eBay for approximately 60 bucks for yeah, shipping. 60. Which puts your cost per model at $15 a model, which is, frankly, it's a substantial cost. However, 
you're not going to find anything in Reaper or Nolzer's. Yeah, even. no, totally. That's this detailed. It's this detailed no and this quality, and at these scales, for even for that amount. This is like my new favorite miniature. I, I mean, honestly, these this Krampus guy is incredible. I, I I forgot about the fact that there's skeleton, there's skulls pressing out of his skin. Yeah, like no, wounds. embedded in embedded his embedded skin. in his skin, there are skulls right, right in his chest the here. That up, but yeah, no, it's picking up, I think. Uh, these models are absolutely incredible. It's a little bit of a steep price at fifteen dollars a model. But um, these are easily, easily, easily as good of models as you're going to see in any of the games we've looked at so far. I mean, we've looked through a lot of games for things that we've thought about painting, and these models for this particular game are just, they're stunning. Yeah, they're sick. Anyway. Absolute sickness. Absolute, absolute <laughs> sickness. Absolute sickness. Absolute. We cannot wait to paint yeah. these. We're, 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 we're desperately hoping some of our Kickstarters don't come in so that we can actually paint these first. I know. Oh, we got to explain our whole Kickstarter thing because no one knows what we're talking about. That's true. <laughs> but let's save that for another video. We'll actually okay. um, we'll, we'll do a little bit of an About Us video and we'll link to it in the description below so you guys will learn more, a little bit more about what we have coming oh, up idea. this year. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Great. Get somebody to watch another video. It's always good for views. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for joining us today, Thrillers. Remember, you can check us out at thethrillstudio.com, which will take you directly to our Etsy store. You can also find us on Instagram at thethrillstudio and on Facebook at Thrill Studio. Once again, that's thethrillstudio.com. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Jonathan Dice. Nate Villarreal. Peace. Later. Paint. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>